Hi folks, welcome back. Thank you for watching. Please do hit subscribe if you haven't done so yet. It really does help when you do that. So today, folks, I hope you enjoyed that little intro jam. It was a lot of fun recording that yesterday, and I got to play slides for the first time in years, which was a bit of an experience. Anyway, today I've got a brand new pedal to show you, and you just heard it on all of the guitars and the bass in that song. This here is the brand new Eggnog from Tubesteader over in Canada. Now, I believe this is the first Tubesteader pedal to break with the keeper suffix. There was the beekeeper, the light keeper. My personal favorite is the sun keeper. And this is a similar type concept to those other pedals. It's shooting after the sound of a certain breed of amplifier from history. And this is going after the small tweed combo amp of the 1950s. So I'm thinking Champ, Princeton, Deluxe things like that. Now it has a real 12AX7 in it running at proper high voltage, but where this pedal gets really interesting is it has a MOSFET transistor that is always on pushing the tube and that really helps get the kind of the low end in that sweet spot where it starts to sag when you dig into the guitar like we expect from old tweed amps. Now it has a boost switch and essentially what that does is it adds gain to the MOSFET. So it doesn't switch the transistor in and out, it just makes it gain up. So it's a little bit like going from a clean boost to a dirty boost. You could think of it a little bit like that. So what I'm going to do today, folks, is do a demo in two halves. First and foremost, I'm going to run this into my JTM45 clone and just go through as many settings as I can to show you all the sounds it's capable of. But at the end, there's going to be part two, where I compare this running into a British amplifier and see how close I can get it sounding to a real tweed amp. So stick around till the end, that should be a lot of fun. But first and foremost, I'm just gonna do some knob twiddling and show you the sounds this pedal is capable of. So without further ado, folks, here we go. <laughs> Bye. 
So there we are, folks. Now, to me, that sounds like a small tweed amp. It's really uncanny. It has that kind of boxiness to it that sounds like a small cabinet of one of those old combos. And I don't mean that in any sort of negative way, because that's exactly what it's shooting after, sounding kind of small and raspy and like it's about to explode when you crank it up. And by having the MOSFET in line all the time, it's pushing the tube just enough that it starts to be a little bit saggy on the low end, but it's never too much. It's right in the sweet spot. So when you hit the guitar hard, you can feel it just starting to explode a little bit, especially when you turn the bass up. It really sort of folds in on itself for that kind of Neil Young thing. It really does nail the sound of the amplifiers that it is shooting after. Now, for the final part of this video, you'll see that a ridiculous amp rig has just appeared over my shoulder there. Now, what I'm going to do is I have over there the Dr. Z Z Master, which is essentially Joe Walsh's signature tweed bandmaster. So it's the circuit that the eggnog is kind of shooting after. It's a little bit bigger than the sort of the tiny sort of champ Princeton type thing that I think the eggnog certainly puts me in mind of, but it is a so-called real tweed amp circuit. And I'm going to compare it to the sound of the eggnog running into the JTM45 next to it. So what I've done is I've rigged up my pedal board down here. The guitar goes into the board and the output of the board is going to the Z Master. No other pedals are turned on. But I've also rigged up the mute switch on the board that kills the signal to the Z Master and reroutes it to the JTM45, which has the eggnog going into the front end of it. So I'm basically using the pedal board as just a flip flop switch, essentially. So I want to see whether if you're a gigging musician, which is how I imagine this pedal will be used a lot of the time, if you have a British voiced amplifier, can you use it to get you ballpark to an old American voiced tweed amp? So I'm going to try and use it as a clean shaper and then crank the Z Master, leave the Marshall set clean and get all the gain from the eggnog and see again if we can get them kind of ballpark. Now, they're never going to sound exactly the same because the Z Master is a real American voiced tweed preamp American power tubes running at four ohms into three American voiced 10 inch speakers. The Marshall has the eggnog, which is a tweed preamp, stacked into a British preamp, British power tubes running at 16 ohms into two British voiced 12 inch speakers. So it's a completely different rig and they're never going to match up and sound like indistinguishable from each other. I want to see whether the eggnog can get us ballpark. So I'm just going to use a 57 on each of the amps because that's gigging reality for most musicians. A sound engineer will just chuck a 57 on your amp and off you go. And I want to see whether I can dial in the eggnog into the JTM45 to sound fairly equivalent to the Z Master. So without further ado folks, here we go.
there we are, folks. Now, the eggnog into the JTM45 can absolutely get us ballpark to the real tweed amp, and then some, can't it? I could dial this in to sound pretty damn close to the Z-Master. Now, as I said, they were never going to sound indistinguishable to each other because they're completely different amp rigs. And there were certainly differences in the mid-range that I couldn't dial in or out using a single mid-control. And to be honest, just using 10-inch speakers over 12-inch speakers is probably responsible for 60% of that. But if you're a gigging musician or even a studio musician and you only have a British voiced amp Amplifier, but you love that saggy American sort of small tweed thing, this pedal can absolutely give your amp an American tweed voice. So there we are, folks, the brand new eggnog from Tubesteader. Thank you ever so much for watching, folks. I hope this video was interesting and useful for you. Please do head over to the Tubesteader website and check this pedal out because it really is very, very special. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.